Okay, we are going to do a little tidy Tuesday action here. And um, I have a very special guest with me this evening. Do you want to say who you are? Uh, I'm Hadley. Hadley who? Lenway. Yeah, okay. Um, and Hadley, what's your favorite data set? Bimini. Yeah. So um, Hadley is going to do some coding here as well um, with the baby names data set. So um, we already uh, loaded some libraries, right? Yeah. Um, and we read in the data set right here. Um, and the first thing we're going to do is we're just going to pop into this environment tab. And we're just we're going to just open up the baby names data set to remind us kind of what's in here, right? Um, and there's a lot. I forgot how much there is. So um, taking a second there. Do you remember what the data is like? Okay. Should we remind ourselves? Yeah. Yeah. So. So what this means is that in the year 1880, mm -hmm. there was, what number is that? 7,065 Marys. That's right. There was 7,065 Marys who were female. Female. That's right. What about if you change it? You mean, what about if? You put it in male. Um, well, we could do that real quick. We could just look at um, the name Mary. And ooh, I don't know how to make this filter nicely. Um, maybe I, oh, I think I can just tell it 1880. Um, and it looks like there were how many males named Mary in 1880? 27. 27, yep. Do you know what this thing is right here? No. This is a proportion. Do you know what these decimal places are? You're kind of learning about decimal places, um, right? We only are doing decimals and decimals and decimals. Okay, Hadley speaks Spanish at school. Um, okay, so this means that um, this number is 0 0.07. Let's just pretend it stops right there because that's a lot of numbers. That means that about seven out of 100, every 100 females in 1880, about seven of them were named Mary. So if you had like a group of 100 females in 1880, about seven of them would be female, or sorry, seven of them would be named Mary. Yeah, pretty, pretty crazy, huh? Yeah. Okay. Um, so, and, and this tells us that like, well, there was very few males named Mary. Okay. That's a really teeny tiny decimal. Okay. Are you ready to get started? Yes. Well, so let's think of some interesting questions. What are some questions we want to try to answer um, from the baby names data? Do you have any good questions in mind? Not right now. Not right now. Is there anything you want to do with the baby names data? Um, like see how many, like, how many, um, like, name, um, how many, like, people, like, so we just did, but we sort of figured that out already. Sure. And we just did it for one year. Yeah. Yeah. Um, like yeah. Um, in the baby names, what the, when date? What date does it end? Oh, that's a good question. Like, what's the last date? Yeah. Let's open it again, and we'll just kind of. Um, we can write some code to look at it, but we can also actually. This is really long, so this might take a while. Oh, there we go. So this this arranges the data from the biggest date to the smallest one, or the biggest year, the most recent one. So it goes through 2017. 
Oh, why don't they make it like so you can do it to like 2020 or something? That's a great question. I don't know the answer to that. Um, maybe that data is not available yet. I'm not sure. We should investigate. Can they yep. get that data? How, how did they get that data? Um, well, let's, um, let's go. Let's go see if this tells us where, well, that, oh my gosh, look at who made this package. Our package from Hadley Wicker. Who's that? That's the famous Hadley. <laughs> <laughs> yep, okay. Um, so, um, we could, um, oh, look, we can go read about that. Let's see. Um, contains three data sets provided by the USA Social Security Administration. So it How looks you, like... Um, How can you make them do it again? Um, well... Because um, I want new data. I know you do. Um, we could look and see. Um, oh, you. Yeah. Let's see, um, we'd have to, you know what, we'd have to look, we'd have to dig around in here more. Let's not do that now, but let's, okay. um, let's, let's explore that later. Let's go on the... Okay, so what, what are we gonna do with the baby names? We're gonna see how, like, we're gonna see how many names of, let's just, I'm just gonna use Christopher. Let's Christopher. 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 Yeah. Um, so Christopher, we're gonna see how many that Christopher there was this year, that year, that year, okay. that, that year, and see how many female Christopher there was. Ah, uh, okay. Male Christopher. Okay. So let let I'm gonna get this code started. So I'm gonna make a code chunk. That's what this is called. Okay. So inside of here is where we're gonna write our code. Okay. So we're gonna start with the baby names. Let me get that out of the way. Um, the baby names, oops, data set. And then we use this special symbol, it's called a pipe. Um, I'm gonna show you in a second. There's a little shortcut to make it. You don't have to press them all at the same time. You press control or command, shift, M. See how that puts those three symbols together? That's a percent, oh, yeah. a greater than and a percent. A greater than percent. Yep, and what this means, we like to, when we read our code out loud, we say, and then. And then. So we're gonna, names and then. We're gonna take the baby names data set and then, um, and in this case, um, we don't need to like, Mm, summarize the data at all because we're gonna um, we're gonna pick a name. Okay. Um, okay. And do you want to put a line for the the males and a line for the females so you can see both? No, I can't. Let me. Well, let's um, let's um, so we're gonna use a function called filter. And in this function, we're gonna tell it what we, which name we wanna choose. So we're gonna say, we want the name. You can pick, I'm just gonna write the, the start of the code. The name is, is gonna be, or is gonna be equal to, and then we have to write those little quotation marks. And inside of there, you can write the name. Would you like to write the name? Oh, Cora, um, the, another little thing we have to do here is um, because in the data it has a capital letter, can you just make that a capital? So remember, press shift. Oops. Sure. We can do other names later too. Okay. Okay, so now um, we're going to do that command, sh oops, command shift M again to put another pipe. And That's going to filter the data. That's right. And then 
And I think at this point, we're ready to make the plot we wanted. So we're going to use um, the ggplot function. I know, I say ggplot a lot. Um, and how this works is um, the first thing we're going to tell it is the aesthetics. I know you like aesthetics, but this is like a different kind of aesthetic. This is like, um, this is where we tell it which of these variables, these are called variables, year, sex, name, and prop. We're gonna tell it which of these we're gonna put where. And sometimes we might do other stuff to them, okay? So, um, what, what do you remember what we want kind of going across this way? This is called the x axis. Yeah. So, like, um, I need a bigger piece of paper. In our little, I'm going to draw a little picture here. So, in our little picture we have here, it's probably hard to see. Oh, well. Um, what, do you, what do we want this picture to look like? Do you remember? Like dates right there. Yeah, I think you want the dates down here though, right? Dates down there. Yep. People. That's exactly right. Can you just write those two things on there? Oh yeah, what date should? Well, for now, just write kind of what you expect the picture to look like in the end. Just draw an example. Great. So maybe something like that. Okay, so that means um, on our X, so you said this one was what? Dates. Yeah, dates. And can you tell me what thing on here is like a date? The year. Yep, yeah, the year. Okay, and then on our Y, which one of these things do we want on Y? That's the, the, the help people. Yep, and what is that called? N. N, that's right. That tells us how many there are. Um, is that all? Yeah. Okay. Oh, you can say if it's female or male. Oh, yeah. So you want to say if it's female or male, and how is that going to change your picture? Um, yeah, it's like, do another picture. Oh, okay. So you want two different lines, like two different ones, or do you want them on the same picture in, in different colors? I want them on the same picture, but in different colors. Okay. If this was, um, I'm going to use a red one. Okay. Like, this is a male. Okay. And then if it wasn't this popular. Perfect. I see. So like that. That's our goal. So what we're going to do there is we're going to actually tell it a, to make a different color. And what do you want it to color the line by? Which one of these things do I should I pick? The color? Yeah. No. Which of these things tells it how to color oh, it different? Yeah. Female. Yeah. The sex. Yeah. The variable is called sex. You didn't want to say that. That's okay. Okay. And then what what type of thing is this on your picture? Um, it is a graph. Yeah, it looks and what, like it does sort of look like mountains. And like, what is? Are these points? Are they lines? Um, are they lines? But also, you can also look like points. Oh, we could also we could put both points and lines. That's a good good idea. Let's start with the line. Do you want to um, do you want to click this green? Um, do you want to click this green play button? Okay. So it's gonna run. Ooh. So what? There's a bunch of females, but like the males. Yeah, that's it. Like maybe like one, two. Yeah. So apparently Francis is not a very popular name for males. No. It's more popular for females. Like over one, um, over fifteen thousand. Yeah. Um, do you have any ideas of what anything we can do on here to make our graph better? Um, 
Like, how would people know what this is a graph of? Oh, let's put a title. Good idea. So we're going to go over here. And by the way, you can see between my sort of the plotting pieces. See how I have that plus sign? Yes. And then this geom line, the line part tells it, make this a line. Yes. And if you wanted, you yeah, you want me to add dots? That's really easy. We do a plus and we say geom dots. Good guess, but it's geom. Let's look through here and see if you can find the one it is. Point. Geom point, that's right. Points too. Yeah. So wow, that makes really different. Yeah. So many Do you think maybe it looked better without the points? Yes, because now it just looks like some of them looks like a big fat line. Yeah. Yep. And it's hard to tell what the point. I agree. Let's keep it a line. Um, and let's do the other thing you said, which is to make a title. So we're going to add another plus. We're going to add something else to our plot. And we're going to add something called labs, which are different labels. So the one we want is a title. And what, what should we say? What should we say? The number of, oh, you know, it would be really cool. Should we get pretty fancy here? Um, the number of people with the name. Francis. And let's, um, we have to, I, I'm going to do something a little bit. Eh. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put the name we want to use. I'm going to put that um, up here, oops, I'm going to put that in here. Okay. Oh, hi. Yeah, Hadley and I are making a video. Did you want to join? <laughs> um, okay, so what this says is this is the name. We're going to save this. I'm going to show you this. Ready? So see how over here, now, what, anytime I use name, it's going to instead put whatever name I put over here. So okay. Put every single one in the world. Well, I don't think we want to do that. But what we can do here is um, we're going to paste. Let's see if I can write. I think, I, I think if I do this, I always forget how to do this the right way. Um, so there's a nicer way of writing this, but we're going to do name in there. And let's see if our title looks nice. Does it look nice? Um, for some reason, it is currently taking forever. Did I do something wrong? Probably. Um, let me stop. Let me try again. Let's try one more time. You always have to try. You don't try. You never learn what's wrong. Could just be my computer and being on Zoom, and perhaps we are sucking up too much energy. Because your screen is like crying right now. It is. My screen is crying. Hmm. <gasps> what did it do? Um, what did I do? Whoa, what name did you put? And why is blue so much bigger than red now? Um, that's a really great question. What did I accident? Did I make? What did I do? Um, oh, Lisa, that was stupid. It's because um, name is a variable. Um, we're going to call this, um, that was my mistake. That was stupid. Don't ever name things the same as a variable name. So we're going to call this name of interest. Name of interest. Okay. 
Let's try that again and hopefully my computer will be happier with me. Yeah. Now we have a title. There we go. <gasps> Look at what it says. The number of the people with the name Frank. Awesome. Okay. So um, is there anything else we should that you'd be interested in doing here? Okay, what else? Um, well, before you mentioned doing the name uh, Christopher or Cora. or Cora, I mean, so now at this point, all we have to do is we would have to put Corey. Corey, okay, with a C. a C. Oops, not a zero. C O R Y. Okay. Most people spell or is it with an R? I don't know. I'm not sure. So move the one Francis. Yeah, so this we're not really using anymore. It's just kind of sitting over there, but we don't have to worry about it. Okay. So it's like Corey with a Y has more males than females. Wow. Yeah. It's pretty popular in like the I don't know. Yeah. Um, like in the middle of nineteen it's pretty popular. Yeah. I'm wondering if it like the 1980s goes up. Yes. Yeah. But Should we yes. add more? Um, dun, dun. What What else should we do? Should I show you some other cool things we could do? Can you try Corey with an I? Sure. Let's see if there's more girls. Yes. Because oh, now there's interesting. way more girls than boys. But there's Interesting. Yeah, it looks like it's the oh, wait, go down. Okay. Yeah. 2020. Well, it's yes, but there's no the data doesn't actually go out that far. It just it just has it. Goes. Yeah. It, it's, so I wonder if it goes up again. Oh, it it looks like it's heading upwards. So mm -hmm. maybe we'd have to we'd have to collect more data. Yes. Yeah. I'm not sure to tell you. Okay. Well, should we keep playing with the baby names data or you want to be done? Do you want to write some code yourself? Sure. Switch spots. Well, we don't have to switch spots. The keyboard's right here for you. Um, do you wanna here's here's a little trick. Here's how I I I think it's a a cool thing to do. If you take this, we're going to do coffee. We're going to uh, paste it. And then you can modify the code. Just copy it for different things. Well, what do you want to change? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing? Well, can we look at this? Maybe have more years there. Okay. Well, I mean, I think the years there are only a certain number of years in the data, so I don't think we can make more years. I don't think we can make them show up. Oh, you mean display more years? Yes. Sure. Okay. So um, we can do that in a couple of different ways. Let's. Um, why don't you go right here? Go ahead and press um, press return. Yep. Turn. Yep. And we're going to do, um, let's do uh, scale S C. Capital? No, lowercase. S C A L E underscore. That means that you have to press shift. Shift. And then the minus. Minus. Okay. And then we want X. Um, and then you can actually just use the mouse. Yep, and click on that one. Uh, here, I'll, I'll click on that for you. Okay, um, so here we are going to do um, breaks. The word breaks, B. Oh. And then, oh, B-R-E. So press delete. Yeah. Okay. And now we can just click on that. Okay. 
Um, and we're going to tell it um, sort of where to put these uh, breaks. So um, do you have an idea for how often you'd like to sort of see them? Sort of how many years do you want to see them? All of them. Um, I think it might be a little bit too full if we put every single year, but how about if we put like every 10 years? Every 10? Let's start with 10 and see how it every looks. Every 10 so we put 10? Um, no, you have to put, um, let's put S-E-Q. That stands for sequence right there. Um, yep, and we'll click on that. Okay. And then um, we're gonna start at 1880. So that tells it where to start and then put a comma. Yep. And then we're going to go until put a space and then go until uh, 20, let's put 2020. Yep. So that tells it where to go until and then a comma. And then you're going to put a 10 and that tells it do it every 10 years. And then at the end here, I'll put a space and then put a plus sign, which is shift. Yep, and then that. Okay, now try running the code. Okay. Sweet. Oh, okay. Um, here, here. It's because I have a left handed mouse. I am using my left hand. Okay, see how now it's every 10 years? Well, it's pretty good. You think? Okay. Um, I think we should probably wrap this up pretty soon. Is there anything else you'd like to do with the baby names data set? No. No? Should I show you, I think, something that could be cool? Sure. So when you said you know, let's do, let's see what happens with Christopher. It made me think. Um, that, that was Christopher. That said he was going to harm in the arts. It was. Um, here, I'm going to kind of get rid of, um, I'm going to get rid of this part. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to say, um, Let's see. So I'm, I'm going to use um, some functions. There's one called um, str underscore starts, I think. Oh, oops. I'm going to use it wrong. So I want to use string to start. So I want to say that the name starts with, are you looking? We're gonna look for names that start with Chris. So that'll include Chris, Christopher, Christoph, Christine, right? Christmas. Christmas. It'll include all of those names. Christmas. Um, but the Christmas. other thing I wanna do is I don't just wanna, um, I wanna make sure there's a different line for each name. Um, with the name, no, um, this title isn't going to make sense anymore, but, um, with names, oops, that, let's start with Chris, oops, we have to close our, We don't need that paste card either, but oh well. I have no idea how many names there are, so this could be, oh my. Oh, did I not? Um, well, yeah, somehow I. Oopsie. Yeah. So everyone's going to hear you saying, you know. Yeah. Yeah. 
I mean, I don't care. Okay, so what did I do wrong here? I did something wrong. Oh, do I need a... Um, careful. I have to try something really quick here. That does not look like. Yeah. I'm not quite sure what I'm doing. Oh. Did you put no? What? Did you put name there? I know. I want. That's what I want. Here, let's. Um, and then you put name there again. I know. I thought I was doing. Okay, hold on. Let's. Let's. let's just angered it. I made it very. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, that's the problem. Um, there's way. Wow. I had no idea. There is... <laughs> okay, so I think that I learned my lesson there. There's a lot of names that start with Chris. So what we're going to do is um we are only let's only pick 10. yeah let's pick oops um let me think here so, yeah. um place mm. max data order by n profit time True. Slice the common max dot. Um, okay. Okay, I'm gonna sit like yes. this. Yes. Thanks. I think that's a good idea. Um. So let's see here. Um. We want. Oh, I know. I'll just. Uh. Uh oh, it's not the door. I bet it's um. Okay, how can I get um? I want to get the top female and male names. Let's start with Chris. You coming back, Hadley? Yeah, I think. Um, do you have my AirPod? Yeah. Okay. Why don't you um, bye. say goodbye? I think we'll just be done for now and leave it at that. Yay! Bye. Um, stop recording. Bye. -bye. <laughs>